blocking streak is working. Let's go. Just a quick reminder that as blocking all the celebrity, it is working because I just said that Kim Trash last three millions, three millions followers. It is three million followers were lost. Kim K lost three million followers, baby. Now, does she have a lot more than that? Yes, right. But the point is, is that that's three million people that will not be marketed to ever again. Which means that those advertising dollars are being wasted. Let's continue. It is working. Not only that, but I was honestly on my computer trying to add Lizzo to the list. Tell me why this woman decided to post on her IG. Not a story, an actual feed and sharing and being vocal right now. So they already know they were supposed to be doing that from the beginning. But now, now we started the movement. They're starting to break the, the silence. By the way, yes. So some people were blocking Lizzo. Lizzo caved. Let the blocking begin. Oh, my gosh. There is a trend going on right now. I'm telling you right now. Look, and some people get mad because they're like, oh, what good is that going to do? It could do a lot of good. It could do a lot of good, and at least it's getting people on board to divest away from celebrity culture, which I am all on board for. Look, baby, they coming out in full force. So I'm going to share this. Uh, I'm going to share this really quick because I think this is the, the important. Just getting rid of some stuff all right so let me share this Ta -da. let me see this guy so there is celebrities are being blocked on social media because well There are people who said, let's start doing it. Let's start blocking. And somebody gives the reasoning as to why people are now mass blocking celebrities. Um, I think it's a good idea. Uh, people are wanting to take it further. So we're going to get into this. That's um oh that's not what i want i'll keep you up though uh tch, tch, tch. okay here it is This is hilarious too, because now celebrities, their 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 bag is getting messed with. It's like great. So here it goes. Celeb block of the day, Taylor Swift on Spotify. There's no reason to feel loyal to any billionaire. To them, you're just a little ant that they step on. Once you block them, you'll forget about it so quickly. It's really not that that hard to do. I would suggest with Taylor Swift going to Spotify and then when you get to their profile, you can click don't play this artist's music. Hitting them where it hurts is the most effective. Don't stream her music. Blocked. Mm. So that's going to be interesting, right? Uh, there's a uh, block lists of different celebrities that people are blocking now. Um... Let me see. Okay. Let me go here. And they give reasons as to why and how this can be effective. Oh, it is juicy. It is. Oh. All right. So here we have this video too. Blockout 2024, that's what it's called. 
on this block out. People are sharing lists of celebrities that we should block. And I want to share my list specifically pertaining to hip hop and hip hop culture. Everybody on this list is a sellout. None of these people give a fuck about the common person and none of these fucking people give a fuck about anybody in Palestine. They all need to go. Everybody on this list got to go. So we're going to read down the list. First, number one is Drake. Well, that's to be expected, right? Even though Drake did express, uh, you know, condemnation for what has happened, um, I'm still of the opinion that we don't need to continue to follow him anymore. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. I haven't heard anything about him saying anything about Palestine. J. Cole, Jay-Z, Kanye, Nicki Minaj, Doja Cat, Sexy Red, Travis Scott, Megan Thee Stallion, Future, Metro Boomin, Gunna, Offset, Quavo, Sawiti, 21 Savage, Glorilla, J.I.D., uh, Flo Mealy, J.T. and Young Miami, Little Yachty, and DJ Khaled. These are people that they're saying block from drake all the way down to dj khaled all of them all of them hip-hop has been co-opted by capitalism into a genre that is only used to promote the ideologies of greed consumerism and corporate worship it's disgusting the gag is that this genre has always been rooted in anti-capitalist resistance Can we not forget that the birth of hip-hop came from people in new york looting stores after a blackout can we not forget that people like Grandmaster Flash and Gil Scott Heron directly called out white supremacy? Why don't none of y'all niggas do it? Not a single person on that list has advocated for the people of Palestine. Not a single one. A lot of y'all worship these people that have proven time and time again that they do not give a fuck about our liberation. They only care about their own pockets. That's why they don't talk about revolutionary and radical things. None of these people are socialists. None of these people are communists. None of these people talk about global conflict. None of these people care. They just care about getting their own money. That's why they rap about it. I really commend Macklemore for making that song, but I have to be real. How embarrassing that none of y'all niggas can make a song like that. None of y'all. Now, I will say, people like Lupe Fiasco has mentioned it. In the past, I'm talking about like, 2011-ish? So we're talking a while ago. Yasin Bey, formerly known as Most Deaf, talked about it in songs. There's a few conscious rappers have actually been talking about it in the past, but we weren't paying attention. Now, Macklemore says something, and everybody's like, oh, oh. You know, a lot of black rap hip hop artists have been talking about it. It's just we weren't paying attention at the time. What what did, what did Lupe Fiasco say? He said Limbo is a racist. Glimpic is a racist. Uh, wait, he said. Um, Limbaugh's a racist, Glenn is a racist, Israel bombed Gaza, and Obama didn't say shit, something like that. But yeah, you know, Lupin Fiasco talked about it in his song, Words I Never Said. Y'all, these people in hip hop are puppets of white supremacy in the capitalist agenda. It is time for them to go. And I want to be clear about one more thing. The list continues. There are so many more. Those are just the first 23 that I could think of. So that's what's going on there. There's a bunch of people that have actually been, this is actually a big trend. And I'm going to tell you the impact of it too. So uh, I'm going to go here first because people are saying, oh, this is not going to be effective. Um, this gentleman says he thinks otherwise, that he doesn't think it's going to be effective. Let's hear from him, too. Because some people in the chat also may feel like this is not that going to be that effective. 
real spill though, like the whole like we're blocking celebrities who don't post about Palestine, da da da. Like, I just want to ask this question. Like, are y'all doing this for the people who are actually suffering? Or are y'all doing this for cool points and moral points amongst each other? Because I want you to know, this shit is so ineffective. Oh, real spill, because I feel like ever since the genocide began, when it comes to the social media activism, it's like this moral superiority contest. And I'm just like, where, like, like, what the fuck? This is not doing nothing but serving y'all's ego. And I think y'all know that, but with this being such a sensitive topic to use this tactic with like y'all find a way to make other people feel bad because you feel like well i'm reposting i'm doing this what are you doing also like bro you don't know how these people show up not only that there are people who have already lost their brand deals there are people who have already like suffered from speaking about it it's just like you're the one who hasn't seen it and because you haven't seen it you're penalizing them for some shit that you don't even have the full scope of when it comes to how they've shown up Celebrities have already shown that they do not give a fuck, okay? They are afraid of losing their brand deals. They are afraid of losing certain things that they have access to. They've already shown that. Bro, our faves are literally in business deals with people who are directly contributing to the problem. If you are a fucking stand account of any kind, I want you to know all of our faves are pieces of shit, if that's the case. Sorry, I can't do the internet activist shit. Show up in real life, donate, use your platform to share, but bro... Doing this internet shit, I'm not in that game. And y'all not going to come in my comments with that shit either. Now, here's my thing. I think that while I agree that you shouldn't be just doing it for clout, I think that we can do both. I think we can organize on the ground and do this too. I think that it would be effective for us to do. Right? Um... Now, let me share this as well, because people are talking about what effect it actually does have, and then we'll talk about uh, what is it produced so far. So We go to her online shopping cart right before purchasing, and then we just leave it. Oh my goodness, you're going to drain their marketing dollars too. Because I work in marketing. And I know that if you almost check out an item, we do something called retargeting. Re re retargeting is when you like search up an item on Google or Facebook or Instagram. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you're getting bombarded with ads nonstop. Just ads, ads, ads related to that product. That's called retargeting or remarketing, right? If you do what that creator told you to do, and check out almost, almost check out an item, take it to the very end, right before you have to put in your credit card details, you're also gonna spend their marketing dollars. You're gonna waste, you're going to waste their marketing dollars and that's genius. Now, that's also talking about going to the stores for that these celebrities operate. So case in point, Let's say, hypothetically, Taylor Swift has a store, right? Uh, she's There's a brand that she has, right? And she makes, oh, even perfect, Rihanna. If you go to her Fenty Beauty uh, store and then you buy, let's say a thousand, not buy, but you get a thousand dollars worth of product in your cart, and you get all up to right before you need to put in your payment information. And then you just leave it. And then close the window, walk away. It's still going to be in your cart. And that's going to mess up marketing so bad. It's going to end up making her waste millions of dollars. Imagine how many other corporations you can do this to. It's not illegal. It's perfectly legal. I'm just saying. Right? So there's that. What's why is one of the reasons why this is happening? Let's go in here because somebody decided to say some words. The four words that they shouldn't have said while at the Met Gala. This lady named Haley Bailey. 
I don't know who she is. I don't know where she came from. I don't care what she did. But this lady with uh, a garden on top of her head decided to say this, and this sets some people off. Let them eat cake. It's time. Oh no! Those four words done messed her up. Let them eat cake. That was the wrong thing. In the year of our Lord 2024, you done messed up. Now, let's continue. Haley, ooh, girl, mm -mm. you in danger, girl. It's time for the people to conduct what I want to call a digital guillotine, a digitine, if you will. It's time to block all the celebrities, influencers, and wealthy socialites who are not using their resources to help those in dire need. We gave them their platforms. It's time to take it back, take our views away, our likes, our comments, our money, blocking them on all social media and digital platforms and i think the first person that we should all focus on is Haley here Haley bailey for your ignorant decision to attend the seventy-five thousand dollar ticket met gala and recite let them eat cake while you have done nothing with your 10 million follower platform as people are starving and dying we sentence you to the digitine you've got a revolution <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. All right. So you guys see what's going on here, right? Okay. It's getting it, it and it's it's growing, y'all. It is growing. Hang on. Let me see. Um. Now. Uh, let me see. Okay, so Haley Bailey actually, <laughs> after people were blocking her on everywhere, she let out a video. <laughs> They're so mad. <laughs> Oh my God, they are getting upset. Hang on. So. To the Met Gala because I'm not elite. I'm a normal person. Haley, don't feel bad. Don't feel sad. This was gonna happen. It needed to happen. You were just a cherry on top of a very shitty cake. And you were the straw that broke the camel's back. And this revolution was coming. And now this generation that is ruthless and they're filled with legends, um, they're coming for blood. Now they're coming for blood. No celebrity is safe. And we're going after the celebrities. We're going after the governments and shutting down everything. Everything that I've seen so far on this update is us blocking all these celebrities is messing with so many brands that it's breaking the infrastructure that the brands use for the algorithms, for paid media, for all the ads that they send to us. And that's the point. That's why you have to block everybody because you can't see the ads that is associated with them. And we can literally break down the, uh, the economy for those type of businesses. And it's about time. And so all you legends out there, let's go. All right. So uh, I want to go to another one. Because uh, you literally have people who are getting their ad revenue as well as their engagement from marketing online. And if you stop that, then that messes up their money. That messes them up financially. Uh, There's some people who are saying some, some other points Uh, that I think is also a really good idea. Because some people are like, well, what else can you do? Well, people are brainstorming over this. And I think it's also a really good idea. Let's get into it. You know what's really interesting with this block out 2024 movement is that 
as we're blocking celebrities, I just started also blocking corporations because Amazon Music kept advertising Taylor Swift's new album to me and I don't want to see her stuff and I don't want to support it and I don't want to give her money. So I block Amazon Music. And then I realized that if we're blocking all these corporations, there's going to also be a void and a vacuum of services that will eventually need to be filled. You know, like who's going to introduce us to music and put like charts of trending songs or whatever. Um, and then it could be filled with people who aren't spineless and who have ethics and morals and, you know, are against genocide and aren't being controlled by, you know, the government or Israel or anything like that. And it's like we're we're going to be backfilling um all these voids with like good people so it's i don't know it's really interesting and then it's also kind of like the thing of like supporting local like local business but now it's going to be like local artists kind of and artists that aren't controlled by a label like we're gonna have like hundreds of macklemores that are speaking out and no one can say anything because they're not controlled by a label and then, yeah, and then we're going to have, and then those people, they're going to make money because they're going to have influence because they're filling this vacuum. Because if we're all blocking, you know, Taylor Swift, let's find a pop star that we really enjoy that, you know, is against genocide and isn't afraid to say it. And so, yeah, like, it's like community, like we're just backing people in our community that stand for something. That'd be really cool. That'd be really nice. It's kind of like cleaning out like like all the nastiness that like corporations do and how much they exploit the people. It's I feel like this block out movement is gonna like clean that out. Which would be really nice. And I feel like all the problems can slowly eventually get fixed in this way. Like if we just keep using the same kind of idea of like, you know, no, like no one's gonna go to Sephora anymore. Sephora, like, like as an example, Sephora has so many toxins in all their products, even in their clean products, they still have toxins. Like it's not EWG, um, like 100% green on EWG, but it's clean. And so, everyone blocks Sephora now people will be making like locally in your community they'll be like oh there's a need for makeup or you know skincare in my community let me start making that and that sounds so nice like it could be it could turn into something really nice and actually be the thing that helps us all and fixes the mess that people create and by the way, this is no means to just do this because they're not speaking out against Gaza. I I honestly think that we should do this for just because, you know, unless they're actually fighting for real change, I don't think that we really should be supporting any of these people who are famous. It's like, if you're getting famous, you know, and you're not actually doing anything socially conscious, then, well, let them let them be by themselves, right? Blocking streak is working. Let's go. Just a quick reminder that as blocking all the celebrity, it is working because I just said that Kim Trash last three millions, three millions followers. It is three million followers were lost. Kim K lost three million followers, baby. Now, does she have a lot more than that? Yes, right? But the point is, is that that's 3 million people that will not be marketed to ever again. Which means that those advertising dollars are being wasted. Let's continue. It is working. Not only that, but I was honestly on my computer trying to add a Lizzo to the list. Tell me why this woman decided to post on her IG, not a story, an actual feed, and sharing and being vocal right now. 
So they already know they were supposed to be doing that from the beginning. But now, now we started the movement. They're starting to break the, the silence. By the way, yes. So some people were blocking Lizzo. Lizzo caved and started sharing Operation Olive Branch, which is helping and donating to people in Gaza because she was silent. And because they were blocking her, that caused her advertising dollars, that caused her engagement to drop like a rock. So guess what? To try to save face, that pushed her to do the right thing. So if you're doing this to corporations, especially the big ones, if you're doing this, especially on social media, so if you're blocking these big corporations, if you're blocking these stars, then look, you can do a lot of good. It is working, so keep blocking. Yep. Uh, in fact, someone on Twitter, hang on, I have it here. Well, let me get to this first. Hang on. Yes, I also wanted to point this out too. Yes, and celebrities are now, they're now, their butts are puckering because they're like, oh no, oh no, oh no, because they had seven months to talk about this and they didn't start talking about this until now, so. Celebrities are going to be scrambling. They're going to be trying to clean shit up. They're going to be trying to speak on stuff. It's too late for all that because y'all done had all this time all of this time when this genocide has been being committed, y'all was not saying nothing. Sorry, I had to book my nose. Is it still there? Okay. Y'all was not saying nothing. Y'all didn't have nothing to say except for pushing products in our face and selling us y'all stuff. So now that people are saying, you know what? If you're not going to speak up on the shit that actually matters, if you're not going to use your platform to bring attention to these issues, all these people are dying. If you're going to be so arrogant and so tone deaf and so oblivious and so delulu that you can really sit up here and act like these things are not going on and just turn a blind eye to it, we're withdrawing our attention. We live in an attention economy. And I'm so glad that everybody's waking up to that and understanding the power that we actually have. Because like they say, on these apps that's free, what's really being sold is our attention. That's what's really making all this money for all these people. So I love to see that we're shutting down because celebrity culture really hasn't done nothing for us but distract us from the things that we really need to be focused on. And they need to get out, pack it up, block pack it up you blocked pack it up pack it up your services are no longer needed because y'all not doing nothing for nobody so and this also goes to influencers too influencers on instagram TikTok, and especially if they're just now speaking out about this somebody made this point on TikTok too if they're just now speaking out about this just to get on this block trend Oh, no, no, no. If you haven't been speaking out on this for the last few months, uh-uh, you get blocked too. <laughs> no, you're not going to ride this train, baby. No. It's like, look at look at, look at, at what they've been saying in the past. Have they started saying anything or did they just now start saying it just now just so that they can get on this block trend? Mm, nope. And so that, I think that's also important too because that's how they make their money. That's how these influencers make their money, right? And so I think that's important too. Uh, there was, let me see, this, uh, and then there's this one as well. Ah, yes. Suleiman Ahmad said, Ahmed, uh, pushed this as well. Just a, a list of celebrities. Because there's this trend is now getting more celebrities on board because they literally have clout. They literally have power. I mean, I can't tell you, you know, Kate Blanchett 
is doing a lot right now in regards to Gaza and speaking out. And she's literally, you know, people are giving her more attention than they would some random Palestinian. And it goes against what our country is. Uh, let me mute that. But yes. Until Palestine is. So said Kim Kardashian, Selena Gomez, uh, Kim, Chloe, and Kendall, Kylie, Chris, all the K's. Doja Cat, Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, Danny Lovato, Beyonce, Billie Eilish, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, Haley Bieber, Courtney Baker, James Charles, Jeffree Star, Tyra Banks, Lizzo, uh, says Zendaya, Nicki Minaj, Olivia Rodrigo, Cardi B, uh, Rod Wave, Britney Spears, Drake, Travis Scott, Kanye West, Vanessa Hudgens, Noah Cyrus, Katy Perry, Pink. Pink kind of hurts a little bit, but I haven't heard, really heard her speak out. Gosh, Alicia, come on, man. Uh, let me see. Jesse J, JoJo, Baby Ariel, Ashley Tisdale. Um, you know, and, and a lot of these are music artists, right? Little Nas X, you know, Little Baby, you know, all these people, Jay-Z, Kevin Gates. Uh, Luke Combs, Young Boy, Usher, T.I., Post Malone, uh, Rihanna, Megan Fox, right? All these people who uh, aren't saying anything. I also would talk to the, the comedians. So, Cedric the Entertainer, where you at? D.L. Hewley, where you at? Steve Harvey, where you at? Right? Eddie Griffin. I love you, Eddie, but I haven't heard you. I gotta look again, but Eddie, where you at? Dave. Dave Chappelle. Are you have you spoken out about Gaza? Somebody correct me in the chat if I if he has. We all know Tiffany Haddish hasn't. In fact, Tiffany Haddish just took the side of Zionists. So that's an automatic block. What about, um, you know, Chris Rock, Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, where you at? Where y'all at? Godfrey. Godfrey, you, you know, in my mind, Godfrey, you kind of up there, bro. Where you at? See, there's no like, oh, this is complicated. It's not. And especially those of you who are black, it is not complicated. They want you to think it's complicated because they're trying to make it so that you either stay in the center or you stay on the Zionist side. They either want you to be quiet or be against liberation. And also, even politicians. Now, unfortunately, I have to hear what politicians have to say because this is my job. But if you want to start blocking them, hey, you know, But it's important that we do this. And it, it's just a small little side thing. It's not anything big. I say still, you know, organize and try to get out there. But, yeah, so this is what's been going on, man. And this trend is, this trend is getting big. Kim K lost 3 million followers. And you're doing it all over social media, right? I think it's time that we continue to make this go bigger. I'm all for that. I'm going to do one more. Here's homie, Logan Grindle. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah blackout block party energy we got going and i want to add one thing y'all professional sports the end yes 
Yes. Sorry, but you're gonna have to block LeBron. Sorry, you're gonna have to block uh oh my god, what's his name? You're gonna have to block the players from the Kansas City Chiefs. You're gonna have to block the players from from the Rams to the Chargers, the Jaguars. You're gonna have to block, you know, the Lakers. You're gonna have to block the Yankees. I'm sorry. The Yankee players, you're gonna have to block them. You have to block people from the Jazz. Sorry. But that's how it is. Oh, that's gonna hurt. National sports, the NBA, the MLB, like all of them. Not only have they not said anything or done anything about what's going on, but they're like the other end of the bread and circuses. It's like the Circus Maximus and like the celebrities royalty, right? And they combine to capture our attention. I mean, you could even make a case that the celebrity culture is the celebrity culture is less insidious in some ways than like sports culture is in this country because it's like tied into family and to a bunch of different rituals. Like Super Bowl Sunday is such an American institution that it's it's even bigger than, you know, Met Gala or even like the Oscars, the Tonys, right? Because you have to like specific things or specific types of art, but everyone has a local sports team and it just becomes like a point of local pride. Like I live in New York and I don't like any of it, but people are always asking me if I like the Yankees or the Mets. Wait, pump the brakes for a second. I know a bunch of people are like, no, no, we only got to do a couple of the celebrities. We don't have to do all of them. Okay, look, I am not proposing that we're doing this just to like make a point. This is about actually changing the way we think about all of this stuff. You know artists, you know musicians, you know people who play sports. You could get together and play sports with like your friends. All of this stuff is stuff that we could be doing. We could be duplicating this. And if we want to in the future, we can create like leagues that are run by the people, owned by the people, and give the money that they're making off of like the stadiums and the games or whatever back into those local communities rather than funneling them into like big corporations owned by some of the worst people supporting some of the worst stuff that our society has to offer. And that's a target rich environment. Like I'll be the first to say that it has been like weirdly emotionally difficult for me to unfollow and block some of the people that I have already unfollowed and blocked. It's, it's strange and it's actually very, very telling as to like how deeply they've gotten this culture into us. And think about how much harder it would be for you, for somebody you know, to be like, all right, well, I'm not watching any major league sports games anymore. I'm not going to buy any more jerseys. I'm not going to do any of that. Like, think about how hard. That's a big ask. And why is it such a big ask? Because that's how they want it. If we Like, for instance, I'm going to be real with y'all. Blocking Queen Latifah was difficult. You know, I'm going to have to block celebrities that I kind of identify with. I'm going to, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's not. You know, there's certain people who I have a personality where I can see myself like being related to them and stuff. But I like, like, for instance, some of us are going to have to block Gladys Knight. Stevie Wonder. Not Stevie. Not gonna do anything. No, no, God. I don't want to block. You know? Will Smith. You might have to block him. Right? You might have to block. Blocking Willow Smith was, was tough. Because she seems like a really. Nice young lady, you know what I'm saying? She seems really cool. You might have to block Dolly Parton. I know, I know, I know, man. Look, but if she hasn't been saying much, one person I won't be blocking though is Susan Sarandon. No, Susan Sarandon's. She's getting all the follows. <laughs> Jane Fonda may get all the follows too. 
Just saying. I don't know. I still got to th- I got to think about Dolly for a second. I don't know. She's been doing some good stuff too though. But I don't know if she's been doing enough for my taste. But let's continue. If we want change, if we want enduring, long-lasting change, we have to change in enduring and long-lasting ways. We have to divest in our hearts from all of this stuff, and we can remake it in a way that actually serves and suits us. I mean, let's face it, a lot of this stuff, like, we just follow so that we know what other people are talking about when they reference, like, the latest album or whatever that some artist has put out. Keep going, darlings. Yeah. I might have to I might have to do that to uh Denzel Washington. I don't uh mm. I haven't heard Terrence Howard say anything. Viola Davis. Billy Porter is gonna be easy because Billy Porter done sold out, but you know. Jeez Louise, man. See how celebrity culture is really tied to you? Man. But this is a trend. And I'm welcome. I'm open to it. You know? Thank you so very much for watching my channel. And I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further, so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfon. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much. And you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. More head kisses and have a beautiful day.